Today, let's see how to prepare a payoff table if you are having the values. Here is a question for you. A factory manufactures four types of products, the fixed cost and the variable cost for which are given in the following table. The products are A, B, C and D. For A, the fixed cost is 200 rupees and the variable cost is 10. For B, 30,012. For C, 40,008. For D, it is 50,006. Also given, the demand for each product is likely to be as follows for various situations. Demand is for adverse 3,000 units for moderate 5,000 units and for best 7,000 units. If the sale price for each unit is rupee 30, that is also given for each unit, the selling price is rupees 30. Prepare the payoff table. So these are the values which you are having and from these values, you have to prepare the payoff table. Let's see the solution. Assume S1, S2 and S3 as the three states of situations, namely adverse, moderate and best. The payoffs calculated in thousands of rupees are as follows. That is, you are having the fixed price and the variable price, right? So from that, you have to get the payoff values. So for that, the formula used here is payoff is equal to sales revenue minus fixed price plus variable cost. Okay. We are having the table A, B, C, D products, fixed cost and the variable cost, and we are having the demands, and we are having the formula. Right. So we know that. The payoff table will be having rows and columns, okay? And here the strategies are S1, S2, and S3. They are the strategies. And the actions are A, B, C, and D. They are the actions, okay? So the first cell of the payoff table, that is S1, a. Okay, S1 and A. This cell is S2A. This is S1B. Now, S1A, we have to find the value. Sales revenue. Here it is given in thousands. So, sales revenue, that is 30 rupee per unit. So, we are finding for adverse, moderate and best. So, 3000 units, that is 3 into 30. That is the sales revenue minus fixed price. So, for A, the fixed price is 20,000. So, 20 plus again. The variable cost. Variable cost per unit is 10. For adverse, it is 3000 units. So, 3 into Okay, so that is 40. Then S2A. Here, the moderate situation is happening. So 5,000 units, that is 5 into 30 minus 20. That is the same fixed price it is having. So 20 plus 5 into 10 and that is 80. So for S3A, Best situation, so 7,000 units, so 7, 7 into each unit 30 rupees minus 20, 20 is the fixed cost, so 20 plus 7 into 10, okay, that is 120.
The next is S1B, S2B and S3B. See, again, the same thing. Okay. That is 3 into 30 minus here. The fixed cost has been changed. Fixed cost is 30,000. So 30 plus 3 into 12, the variable cost. Okay. So same way S2B and S3B. Next, the next three situations, that is S1C, S2C, and S3C. So now we are having all the values, that is S1A, S2A, and S3A. Now we are having all the values, S1A, S2A, and S3A, S1B, S2B, and S3B, S1C, S2C, and S3C, S1D, S2D, and S3. Now, just the direct substitution in the payoff table. S1, S2, S3 are the events. A, B, C, D are the products. Direct substitution. S1, A. That means the first cell enter the value 40. S2, A. That is 80. S3, A. That is 120. S1, B. That is 24. So, same way, fill the whole payoff table. That's it. Okay. It's a simple method. An important question. Hope it was clear for you. Thank you.